Hello my friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. Welcome to Thrifty Thursday. This is a collab hosted by me where we share our thrifty goodies no matter where they're from and everyone's welcome to participate. Just be sure you're subscribed to my channel. Link my channel in your description box and mention that I'm the host in your video. And also use the hashtag so people can search and that's how they can find you. If you use that hashtag in your video, description box, and your tags, whatever, wherever, all, all of the above, hashtag Thrifty Thursday, then when people search that, your videos will come up. So uh, last week I started flipping through these ideal magazines that I found, and I told the whole story of how I found them and everything. So I'm going to link, well, my Thrifty Thursday playlist will be linked below, and you can see that video there. But this week my goal is to get through the rest of them. So uh, I think the first last week was over half, so this week is not quite as many as last week, but just about, and maybe it will be. I'm not sure. I haven't really measured my stacks here, but anyway, this is a Country Ideals magazine, and so uh, I am listing these, or when you see these videos, these will be listed in my shop, so if you would like one, I, you know, go check out my shop, if you would like one or some or whatever. And I said last week, I said, I got a great deal, so I'm passing that great deal on to you. Look at that. I love that picture. And it's so hard not to stop and look at all these beautiful pictures because they have these magazines, if you've never seen them before. I use them in my junk journals, and they just have gorgeous, gorgeous pictures in them and poems and things that you can use in all different types of paper crafting, junk journals, and... Uh, and paper crafting and cards and things. So I've used the little poems in my cards. I've used the pages in my junk journals. So they're really a lot of fun. And these are all vintage. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to try to get through the rest of these. I They're pretty much like new. I, uh, you know, I think the person that maybe had them before me, look at that barn. Perfect person that had them before me maybe uh, collected them and just looked at them one time. I love these old wheel, wheelbarrows. I've always wanted one, but never, uh, they've always been so expensive that I never, you know, bought one. <laughs> but, oh, look at that little kitty cat. But anyway, that was country. This one is also country. Another uh, year. I'm sure these are from several different years here that I have. And so, let's see what this one looks like. Look at all of those pretty flowers. I can't imagine seeing that in person. The picture is beautiful. Look at this. I love tree-lined streets like that. This is just a dirt road, it looks like. But, yeah. I wonder where that is. Let's see. Sometimes it tells right here, Vermont. I think it says Vermont. This is Vermont. Beautiful. Usually it has a little thing right down here. This is Washington, right here. Maybe if you're from Washington, you recognize that mountain. <laughs> Snow covered. So yeah, really beautiful pictures. And uh, yeah, you have to be brave enough to cut them apart and take them apart. But I don't. I've never regretted taking one apart. You know, why not use them instead of letting them sit on the shelf? You know, you're passing the beauty along in many different ways. And I use every single bit of them, too. The covers and everything. I've made junk journals out of covers, out of these covers. So, and the inside and out of them are gorgeous, you know. The inside and out of, oh, look at that swing. That's cool. Oh, look at this. Look at those colors. <laughs> I'm going to say the lad a lot. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's another wheelbarrow. <laughs> so cute. I love those wooden wheelbarrows. Very cute. Love that. Love geraniums, too. So this one was, was this one home? Gorgeous. Old church. Country. Oh, this one was country. This one's home. See what I mean? The, the cover outside and inside is always has a beautiful picture. Look at that piano, little girl. 
taking piano lessons or learning how to play a piano. She's holding her hands right there. <laughs> Cute gingerbread house there. Like gingerbread decoration. Oh, I can't seem to turn the pages here. So this one's called Home, I think. So it has lots of different house pictures and gardens. Flowers. Oh, look at that one. Just so cute. Oh, this, these mother and daughter probably hanging clothes on the line. Even though it's black and white, it's, it's gorgeous. They do have black and white and colored. I think they're mostly colored, but then they have like the old kind of sepia like that. Or just, you know, pictures like that. And then the really colorful ones. Really cool. Really cool. Love it. So, there we go. Yes, ma'am. So, Easter. So they've all been in good condition, but I know there's one in here not in good condition, so I might be keeping that one. This is a gorgeous Easter. All the e oh, they're all gorgeous. I can't say that just Easter's are gorgeous. No. Oh, I think I might have two of these. This looks familiar. I have to look. When I'm listing them, I will figure out probably. Or if I don't figure it out, you'll see two of the same one listed in my shop. There's certain articles they have, like called, there's one that just, I just passed called Bits and Pieces. So it's interesting to see what they show for that article in every magazine. Oh, look at that. It's back here. If I see it, uh, let me see. I always like to see what they put in here. This one here, Bits and Pieces. And then it seems like there's another one. If I see it, I will, little bits of spring. No, that's not it. Family Recipes. Anyway, that was Easter. Here's a Christmas that um, I think I have. I think I have this one in my my separate own collection that I am not listing. But look at how pretty this is. I mean, you could almost like say you wanted to make a journal out of the cover, use this side as your front instead of this, and then you could either use this for your inside or cover this. And there you go, you have a beautiful cover. And what I did was make traveler's notebook size, so I just folded this in half. Maybe put a little fabric on the spine, or just, uh, I would probably score this to make sure it didn't crack, because these are vintage. But this is Christmas. Yeah, gingerbread house. Just all kinds of gorgeousness. Yep, Norman Rockwell there. All kinds of beauty. There we go. This one has a little crease right there. This was, I think this one's a little older than the other ones that I have here that I'm showing you. Yeah, this one's a little older. This one's 1990, 50, 60, 70, 80. Well, it's 84. It's 1984. So no, it's about the same. Same range, 80s. That's a pretty one. Christmas. Let's see what the inside cover is. I, I really like, do like to see the inside covers. Oh, I think this looks familiar. I think I made a journal out of this one. Folded in half. I'm not sure now. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> pretty. Here's some postcards. Oh, I think I have. It's so hard I'm remembering. I don't know if I'm remembering my own or these ones that I'm looking through right now. Because if I, there's two of these, then I would have seen these before. Most recently, while I was flipping through. Recipes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, that was Christmas. Here's a Valentine. I love the Valentine ones, too. 
they're not like all out Valentine. See how they have different things in them. There's a like a farmhouse, flowers, a pretty little scene from a parlor, old fashioned parlor. Oh, look at that little girl in her pink snowsuit. <laughs> so cute. And uh, the Christmas one had like Christmas postcards, and this has Valentine postcards. I think I might have two of these. I'm not sure. Those postcards look familiar. Like I might have shown this one last week, but not this one. This is this would be a second one because so I did not I did not mix them up. You know what I mean? <coughs> I might need to get a drink. Valentine. Oh, look at that. Got a little Valentine door decoration there. Look at this little border on here. It looks cool. It looks like a certificate border. I'm just reading a uh, frost on the needles. North Carolina, North Cascade Mountains. Oh, that's Washington. Okay, so I thought I said North Carolina there for a second. <laughs> oh, here's the inside of this back cover. In the back. I think I have two of these. I think I just, I feel like I just showed you this one. But I didn't. It's a different one, but maybe. Oh, look at the chocolates there. Oh, that looks yummy. <laughs> Hand dipped to chocolate. So very pretty. Oh, look at that. That looks like a postcard. Blown up postcard. Valentine greeting, it says there at the bottom. So very, oh, look at the cardinals. All right, so we have Thanksgiving. Oh, there goes my little stack. <laughs> it's all right there. Um, laying, actually laying nicely on the floor, so okay. We're good, we're good. Sorry about the avalanche there. But this is Thanksgiving, I think I said. Very nice Mother's Day. Sorry if there's any repeats, it's just that there's more than one of them if it is a repeat. Love it. You can see how good of you know condition they're in. Here was a baby carriage back. Oh look at a little kitty cat there. There's a baby carriage back here. I want to see what that is. There it is. They're taking their dolls for a walk. Can you see that right there? Cute, right? Oh, look at the little ducks. <laughs> the mama, and that's a lot of babies. That is a ton of babies. Is she, are those all her babies? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Poor mama. That's a lot of babies to take care of. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start my stack here now since that one decided to avalanche. This is friendship. That with the books. Collector's Corner. Just one second. Sorry, someone was coming in the door. Okay, so I was on this one here and we were kind of like finishing up this friendship one. Let me just look at a couple more in here. Saying the Pledge of Allegiance there at the schoolhouse. So cute. Okay, so next is another friendship. Look at the inside of this cover. Yeah, I kind of the, the outsides are shiny, so I kind of like the inside. They're not shiny. I really kind of like the inside better for a cover. Let's see what this one looks like. Just an old like farm or barn picture, country picture. Oh, look at those purple flowers. So pretty. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that is, that's someone's house. Wow. I hope that's a store, not a house, <laughs> because it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, look at the church. Blue church. 
That's pretty. That is in Maine. That's in Maine. This is Maine. Sharing a drink of a cup of milk or something there. Carton of milk. <laughs> Cute. Happy girls. That was called. Yeah, look at that. Can you just imagine all the journals you could use these pages in when you're looking at these pages? Look at the little kitten. I love the little kitten pictures they have. Our little kitten photos and illustrations. Cats and kittens. Very pretty. Oh, look at that basket of goodies. Okay, so that one was friendship. Another friendship. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it through the whole pile. Let's see. Uh, an old, oh, look at the little mouse. It's a cart, uh, like an old um, crate with a label on it. And the dogs, or the puppies, are looking at a little mouse. Like, that would really happen. That would never really happen, but <laughs> it's super cute. Oh, and this one has some, oh, different little puppies. They look like, I don't know what they are. They could be beagles, or they could be... It could be dachshunds, I guess. No, um, what am I thinking of? Basset hounds. I don't know if their legs are quite short enough, but they could be. When they're puppies, they kind of look look alike. I know I saw some basset hound puppies, and I was like, oh, what a cute beagle. And they're like, nope, nope, it's a basset hound. <laughs> oh, look at this little, little girl carrying the puppy in her overalls. Cute. Butterflies. I love the old fashioned pictures with the old dishes and things, you know, the vintage or antique dishes. Oh, there's another kitty cat. Oh, so cute. Okay, next Mother's Day. I can't believe we're going to make it through these. Wow. I was worried. <laughs> I was going to have to have a third video. There's the inside of that one. This is Mother's Day. So there's the mom and the baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> There's another mom and baby. Oh, so, so cute. I was just grabbing my granddaughter yesterday or the other day. This video will be way long after that day, but um, oh, look at that. I grabbed her. She wanted to get away. She's just running around now. She's two, run, run, run. Grabbed her and I said, Give me a hug and a kiss. Give me a hug and a kiss. And I had to like hold on to her <laughs> for a minute and make her <laughs> slow down. Give me a hug and a kiss. And she did. I was like, Oh, thank you. <laughs> so cute. But it was a quick one, believe me. She was like, quick, quick hug, quick kiss, and wiggle, 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 let me down. <laughs> At least I can still pick her up, right? I can still stop her in her tracks, grab her, and hug, hug, hug. So pretty. Mother's Day, Christmas. Ooh, raggedy hand. Raggedy Ann and there were two Raggedy Ann's there. I was going to say Andy, but it was just two Raggedy Ann's. Doesn't look like Andy. Let's see what the inside of this one looks like. Ooh. Oh, pretty. Oh, I think I, I think I have this one. Or I had it. I think I made a journal. This is the one because I remember this guy putting a wreath on and I'm me figuring out how it would look as a journal. And it looked cute because this guy, you could see like this half of it and then back on the back cover you could see this half of it. Yep, yep, this is the one. This is the one, one of the ones I made a journal out of. Somebody out there has it. <laughs> oh, look at that store window. I forget how beautiful they were, you know. I have used, uh, you know, like this one, if I use the cover, I have a lot of the pages left probably. But I have used a lot of them too, so... Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, that's a Christmas. Easter. Oh, the tulips. Oh, man. Gorgeous.
gorgeous countryside picture. This is Easter. Pretty wreath. Oh, a little bird nest on the wreath. That's a good idea. If you're making your own wreath, put a little bird nest with a little eggs and a little bird on it for spring wreath. Isn't that a good idea? And that would be easy to make with a little bit of flowers. Pretty white bunny. Oh my goodness. I can only imagine my granddaughter with a bunny. I'm not getting her a bunny, <laughs> but they have two dogs. They don't need any more pets, especially with two big dogs. They wouldn't want a bunny, but oh my goodness. I have to get her to get her to a bunny. <laughs> I have to see her with a bunny now. That would be just, you know, a two-year-old trying to pick up a bunny. Got to be careful, though. My my other son has a bunny, and got to be careful. She She's, I think it's a girl, um, but she's a little snippy with people she doesn't know. So they, I tried to put food in there, and she snipped at my hand because she didn't know me. She wanted the food. <laughs> she just didn't like stranger putting her food in her in her cage when I was watching her one time. Easter again with a pretty Easter lilies. Gorgeous. Oh look at the snow on the tulip. Uh, yeah that's a tulip. They all have they all seem to have beautiful florals no matter what you know theme they are. All these ideals magazine. There's another bunny. Let me see that one. I see with a little girl she looks she's probably looks like she's young, a little younger than two she looks like she's like two or just a little younger than two almost two she's just sitting there with a bunny oh the stained glass is really pretty there Okay, so that was Easter home. That's beautiful. Look at that fence. I love fences, pretty fences like that. I have a whole fence board, I think, in my Pinterest, <laughs> believe it or not. I think it's called fences, actually. Yeah, I think it's called fences because fences can be so pretty with their gates and everything. Oh, there's a colorful little town there. I love yellow houses too. I know some people don't like yellow houses. I heard them say that somewhere like on YouTube or somewhere that they didn't like yellow houses. And I was like, how can you not like a yellow house? They're so pretty. <laughs> I mean, my house is not yellow, but if it was, I would still like it. I would love it. I don't think my husband cares for yellow houses because we were on a trip one time and I kept seeing yellow houses. I'm like, oh, look at that yellow house. Look at that yellow house. <laughs> I forget where we were. It's like in Georgia or South Carolina or Tennessee or somewhere like that. I might have been in North Carolina. I don't know. Well, look at those, all those little bags. Aren't those pretty? Lavender sachets with all those pretty fabric. Fabric wrap around it and a little magic bows. That's, that's pretty. That's a pretty picture. Something different, you know. Home. Another home? Oh, the last two are homes. Okay. Yeah, the home ones are really pretty. I like the pictures of the houses. Look at this. Wouldn't that be a beautiful journal cover? Now i got to see the back. Oh, look at that sailboat. And they're having a nice little picnic on picnic on a lawn on a table with a red and white checkered tablecloth on the shore of something there. Gorgeous. And then here's some houses, and sorry, I've got plenty of time to get through these two, so I don't have to rush. Oh, look at that. Sorry if I'm talking quiet. Just kind of like enjoying these pictures. Some recipes, cross-stitch patterns over here. So you can cross-stitch your can, or your jar lids. Right there, he knows. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Read to me, Old Mother Hubbard. Oh, cute. Look at that little puppy. 
Uh, the sprinkler. Yes, ma'am. The, the summer sprinkler. Sure, we've all been there, done it, haven't we? Any kind of sprinkler in the summer when we were kid. Turn it on and cool off and run around. It's pretty. Okay, so that's home, right? Yep, that's a home. And the last one is a home. Pretty rose garden. Looks like, I think it's a rose garden. Is that roses? It might not be roses, but it might be. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, this inside looks like a painting. It's like they have roses growing all over the house here. A rose vine or whatever. There's another one. Okay. Oh, look at the cut. Even the contents page is beautiful. <laughs> Summer feast. Those are beautiful. So, so did I get a jackpot of uh, <laughs> Ideals magazines or what? Yeah, I never found that many before. As at one time, I have found a lot of them before and have sold a lot of them in my shop. But uh, yeah. When I saw these, I was like, hmm? yeah, I have to get those. Crazy quilt memories. The innkeeper. Pretty picture of a little like bed and breakfast. It looks like a bed and breakfast room, doesn't it? Probably is. Buttons. Story about buttons. Front porch. The advice cycle. Women of Rockwell Museum. Stockbridge, Massachusetts. There you go. And, oh, this girl's on a swing. That's a neat picture. Very different. I wonder who, who, uh, the, well, the swing, there's a poem over here by Robert Louis Stevenson. I'm not sure who painted this picture, though. It's a painting. Very different. And there we go. We made it to the end. I can't believe it. Oh, that's pretty. That's a, that's a, photo, a fine art photograph. Oh, it's from the Fine Art Photographic Library. Very pretty. And ideal, idyllic afternoon in the garden. Yes, that is idyllic, isn't it? Sitting on a pretty bench in a garden with your dog and birds. <laughs> uh, kind of sitting around at your feet. Very pretty. All right, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, check out my shop for what I listed and... If you have any questions let me know in the comments or you can send me a message by email or in my shop and like I said in my first video I combine shipping I say if you order more than one I will put them together package them up weigh them combine the shipping and if the share whatever you pay came out to more than what it is I refund the difference and uh, yeah you can do that in Etsy and in eBay so no no problem I have done it many a time so uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.